this is Contact Productions, and if you haven't noticed yet, I've gotten a new mic. I think it's really good. So today's tutorial is going to be on how to get Photoshop brushes or Photoshop CS3. So we're going to go to BrushEasy.com. This is how you spell it. And you're going to go to Brushes. And then after you click that, you're just going to choose the brush that you want. So you could just scroll through a bunch. There's a lot, and they have really good ones too. Um, I'm just gonna choose a random one, maybe drips and paint splatters. Now click download next. After you click that, you're gonna save the file and click OK. And then, um, so it should automatically open. Just double click on it. And then uh, you're going to save. If you have RenRAR, just save it. But anyway, something's gonna come up that looks like this. A page with the Windows 95 side on it. Make sure it ends with ABR, or else I don't think this is gonna work. So you can exit out of internet, and then you're going to go to Photoshop and open it up. Mine takes a little long, so I will pause this and then re-record it, so hold on. Okay, so I'm, I've opened up Photoshop CS3. Now how you're going to do this is first you're going to click on your brush. I'm just going to start a randomly new one. Any size. I don't really care. Um. Alright, so you just do that. Um, and then you're going to click on your brush tool. And right here where it says brush, just click down. And there, you're going to see this tiny arrow right here. Just click on that and go to load brushes. Oh wait, hold on. Uh, before you do that though, you're going to go to here, where you have your RINRAR file or whatever you have. Just drag the, the, just drag the file onto there. And then, then you're going to open up Photoshop again, and then find it here on your desktop, and double click on it. And it has to be an ABR file, so you must make sure it's an ABR. And scroll all the way down, and you will see that you have received the brush. It looks very nice. Alright, let's test it out. Nice. Alright, so you could just choose the size and stuff. Do the rest yourself. I don't really care how you do it. Um, you could use this maybe in your YouTube background or something. Hope this helped you. Rate, comment, and subscribe.